here's a scenario where I am performing a recovery and we got a temperature of you can see the blue so looking at the camera you can see that the receiver is much cooler than the rest of the system and I don't know if you could see see the bubbling out so that's the refrigerant and the oil being sucked out of the dryer the system is not on that's literally the recovery unit I'm only pulling from the vapor side on the low side fitting so this is actually pulling refrigerant up through the gas along the liquid line and then going to the firewall through the expansion valve through the evaporator and then out of the evaporator to the section line out of what you see right there the low side service fitting right there so then it's coming over into here so by doing that I'm not pulling out oil from the system because I'm so far away and it has to go drop into a larger pipe lowering its velocity leaving the oil behind in the evaporator anything that goes through and then the vapor refrigerant boils off the top before it comes out and let's get back to the as you look at the condenser is cooler and you can see farther down the farther down you go in the condenser the cooler it is and if you look at the lines that liquid line is really cold because that's where it's actually flashing off actually if i touch it you can see the water vapor on it So it's actually chilling over. That's how cold that line's getting. Then going over to the compressor, as I'm pulling the recovery, as you can see, uh, we're negative 14 on, uh, there's the compressor right down there. Let's, uh, you can see the top of the compressor, you can see the bottom of the compressor is cooler. You can see that one line the lines where refrigerant is inside the lines are cool. So you can see the liquid line. Right there, how cool the liquid line is going up to my hose. This is my hose. My hose is cold. Now let's see if I could get a view at the bottom. The bottom of the compressor. Okay. Can I get a good view? There we go. So there is the bottom of the compressor. Now you can see the liquid and suction line are very cold and you can see the shadow part. Now let me get a different uh, picture here. Let's do image adjustments. And let's choose colors. And let's go, there's lava. Okay, the compressor. Iron. Rainbow. So you can see the compressor is drastically different than the rest of the system. And you can see the hoses. White is hot, black is cold. And you can see that liquid and that oil in the bottom J of that pipe, that pipe was at the lowest point. And that's where all your oil and your liquid refrigerants are. So it's the coldest. There it goes. That's the opposite. And then it's change again. So you get to see the drastic differences of what is going on inside the system. Look at that uh, receiver. That is all iced up at the bottom. It's sweating. So, this is one way of letting you look inside the system of what goes on when you lower the pressure of refrigerant in the system, how it flashes off and chill off. There's a lot of oil down in here. There's, there's probably an ounce of oil down inside here. All right, guys. That's it for this. Just wanted to show you another view of uh, what it looks like when you're using a camera. And then if this was a parallel flow and it had some plugged up tools, tubes, 
and it's running, you would see hot tubes that would be, you know, whatever color indicates hot. And if you have totally plugged ones or partially plugged tubes, then you'd see the darker tubes that are colder that are partially plugged when you use a camera. All right, catch you on the next video.